Hey, you're watching Volgard's videos, and this is a very response to Samuel to Geek on his the we the we zapper sucks video. So, uh, see, at first, I liked Zapper, and I still kind of, I still kind of like it, but I don't think it's as good as it's as it should be, as it's supposed to be. This thing had a lot of hype behind it. I don't when Miyamoto and I know a Reggie Phils can't really remember, but I remember it seems like they showed off at E3 one year, and I just thought it was so cool. Wow, they're bringing back the Zapper. But now when I think about it and I hear Samuel say how it sucks, and before well, before I didn't understand why, and when I saw um, the Totally Rad Show review it um, on Revision Three, you know the, the website, uh, they said it wasn't very comfortable. It didn't make it just wasn't wasn't comfortable and they just didn't like it and I don't know it was a while ago and I might have forgot forgotten parts of the review that you know were very valid but as Samuel says it, it makes perfect sense you know you gotta reach your thumb up to the top of the of the of the Wiimote to, in order to reload change your weapon or whatnot. And you can't do that because oh you can but you have to your hand has to leave the oh whoops your hand has to leave the the handle and it has to push the buttons up here now instead of doing that what they could have done is just let's see if I can get a good spot um that ought to do right here what they could have done is plug the the Wemo into the nunch or excuse me, plug the the Wemo into the zapper and the Wemo or the nunchuck into the zapper. So the the Wemo into the zapper and the nunchuck into the zapper and the zapper like bonds the two controllers together, like connects them together and so instead of having the buttons up here, you have like a D pad on the back side of the handle and you have your Pl minus plus and your BA or your one and two, you know, all the buttons up here, right here in your handle, and right he here on uh, the back side of that spot. Now that could work, but then again, it wouldn't, it would be like, you know, it wouldn't, it would help, but it wouldn't make the Wii Zapper really good. I mean, its flaw is, I mean, its design is flawed from the start. I mean, because most of the Wii games that, you know, are shoot, m most Wii shooting games require you using your Wiimo and Nunchuck separately, moving them around, um, you know, doing different gestures. And you can't really do that with the Wii Zapper. And that's why he says, um, whoops, got to zoom in. That's why he says you can't really use the Wii Zapper for any games except for Resident Evil and. Resident Evil, the Umbrella, Umbrella Chronicles, and the, let's see, Link's Crossbow Train. That's pretty much it. That's kind of a bummer because I really had a lot of. I was really hoping the Wii Zapper was going to be good, but apparently it's not. Um, so now we're done with Zapper. I was wondering. Now this is a question to you, Samuel. Um, have you ever heard of what you should have heard of? I'm pretty sure, but. Have you ever used the Super Scope? In case you don't know, the Super Scope is the, it's the what do you call it, the the predecessor, I believe the right word is, for the the Wii Zap, not the Wii Zapper, but the the NES Zapper, and uh, it was really cool. This part goes on your shoulder, and you shoot the screen. It's wireless, but instead of using a wire, which the Zapper did, it took six AA batteries. I mean, that's a massive amount of power. So about maybe four hours worth of gameplay, your batteries go dead. I mean, they drain batteries pretty quick. And so the Wii Zapper, or the Super Scope had a bunch of games, not really a whole lot, but a good amount. You got Backlash, or Bazooka Blitzer, you know, all these. Um, I had Super Scope 6 when I was about 10 or so I sold it and it's really it was really a lame thing for me to do I was young and stupid but 
one of these on Amazon is 40 bucks and that's not even with the scope attachment and it's kind of hard to play a game when you don't have the eyesight you know the the sights you're just gonna be shooting all over the place and you're not gonna be able, you're not gonna be able to get the right you know shoot the the right thing on the screen it's like having a DS trying to play a touchscreen game without a stylus and using your finger I mean you're not gonna do very good so if you don't have your scope it'll be hard to you know shoot stuff on the screen and anyways a super scope on Amazon 40 bucks is no scope and like 80 bucks you you'll get the scope on it but you won't have the game and I think eighty dollars or a hundred dollars is a complete super scope set so they're worth they're worth quite a bit now um, okay um, so in case you don't know where the super if you don't think the super scope I mean you never really heard of it but you have played Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Super Smash Bros. Melee. Um, the Super Scope is in the game. You pick it up is that one little um, weapon you can get where you hit the A button a bunch of times and it'll like multi-fire. Or if you hold down the A button, you can charge up and it'll shoot a blast. Yeah, that's the thing. Super Scope. And it was pretty neat. So um, I was wondering if you had one of those or if you played one and I think it'd be, personally I think it'd be really cool if Nintendo brought it back and they and you could use it on the Wii however I'm sure it wouldn't work very good because where are you gonna put your nunchuck I mean it'd be just almost the same as the as the zapper the new zapper however um, going back to the zapper um, I mean the design's not very good however Nyko's design on their gun, much better design. This is more like the Zapper. I think Nintendo needs to come out with like the the Wii Zapper 2 and make it basically the same as this, completely rip off Nyko, only paint it like orange and another one gray, just like the original Zappers. And then, yeah, because this you can actually use, not the the new Wii Zapper. You know, this one over here, but this one, I was, you know, you can actually use this. So, uh, yeah, uh, Samuel, have you used this before? I want to know. And Yeah, have you used that? Um, last but not least, I'd like to know, um, you know, I've seen a couple of your videos in the past that you have a Super Nintendo, but, you know, I, looking on your channel, I don't see that you've made any videos on your Super Nintendo. And me, I'm a huge Super Nintendo enthusiast. I mean, I have probably around 26 30 Super Nintendo games I think about 36 and when I know somebody has a Super Nintendo I kind of get all excited want to know what games he got okay so I guess you do have Super Tennis that's like the only video you got on your Super Nintendo so um so I'm wondering what games you got for your Super Nintendo you got any rare ones or yeah and what games would you like to have or would you like to have a game that you might have sold and you regret selling? So yeah, basically meant towards Samuel, but yeah, that's the point of replying. Um, please respond. That was Lagora. Thanks for.